These are the women who raised us from the comfort of the boob tube. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be taking a look at a few of the most memorable TV moms. Well, if you say so. Top expecting mom. Lucy Ricardo, I Love Lucy. Contrary to popular belief, Lucy wasn't the first pregnant woman on TV, but she was the funniest. Over 70% of America tuned in to see Lucy give birth during the second season of her show. Now, I'm gonna be right here. You, you just take it easy. Okay, I'll take it easy. <laughs> Gee, I only have 45 minutes, I'll have to hurry. <laughs> They kept watching as little Ricky grew into a musical prodigy with loving support from his mother. However, her most memorable mommy moment is just super. Top black and white mom. June Cleaver, leave it to Beaver. You can call June Cleaver the classic TV mom and an icon of the 1950s. Always quaffed, ladylike, and devoted to her family. Oh, honey, I still think what you did was wrong, but I think you did it in the rightest way I've ever seen. <laughs> She must have done something right to raise such polite young men. The image of a housewife in pearls may be outdated, but she set a standard that TV moms and real-life moms can only hope to come near. Top Stepmom Carol Brady, The Brady Bunch It's no easy task bringing two families together under one roof. Okay, she had some cooking help from Alice, but Carol had a lot on her plate with six kids. I'm perfectly happy with my three new sons and my wonderful new husband. <laughs> <laughs> And she always managed to stay hip while reminding everyone not to play ball in the house. We'll just pretend we didn't hear about Florence Henderson's supposed affair with Greg Brady. Ew. Top Dingbat Mom, Edith Bunker, All in the Family. Sure, Edith might not have had many political opinions. She may not have been the sharpest tool in the shed. Everything satisfactory, ladies? Oh, wonderful. My compliments to the chief. <laughs> and she may have had a piercing singing voice. But her patience and natural sweetness made her a great mom, and a perfect foil for her curmudgeonly husband. How was your day, Archie? Uh, how does it sound like, Edith? <laughs> My day was terrific! Whoopee. <laughs> Gloria may be a brat, but we're gonna blame that on Archie. Top 50s mom, Marion Cunningham, Happy Days. Mrs. C kept a spotless house, raised well-behaved kids, a little too well-behaved if you ask us, and welcomed all the neighborhood kids into her living room while always wearing a smile. Sure, she lived in a world where every problem could be solved in a half hour, but she still gets street cred points for being the only person who could call the Fonz by his first name. Oh, Arthur, what am I gonna do? Uh, about what, Mrs. C? About Howard running off with a younger lady. Whoa! <laughs> Top smart mom, Claire Huxtable, The Cosby Show. This woman was just full of class, eloquence, and life lessons. Amid a flurry of dysfunctional TV families, the Huxtables stood apart as a tight-knit group headed by two equally intelligent parents. Claire could probably have retired based on Cliff's doctor salary, but she put her own degree to good use as a lawyer and exercised those same arguing skills as a mom. Well, that's just not sneaky enough for a man like Cliff. I think that what we should do is pretend like we're making him a big dinner and let him find out about it. And then when he's sitting there bragging about how he's out foxed us again, we bring in the pizza that we sent <laughs> out for. <laughs> Top bitchy mom, Peggy Bundy, married with children. Nobody insulted her husband quite like Peg Bundy. Now I want you to do something for me you've been promising for a long time. What's that you say, Peg? I'm sorry, it's just this darn headache. <laughs> Not that. I meant something that would require movement on your part. <laughs> So what if she's not exactly a role model? Big hair, cigarettes, tight clothes, and heels are what gave Mrs. Al Bundy her edge, and everyone kind of forgave the fact that she refused to cook and clean. Plus, having those two as kids must not have been easy. Top terrible mom, Betty Draper Francis, Mad Men. Who would have figured that a trophy wife would make a horrible mother? Sally Draper, come over here this minute. If the clothes from that dry cleaning bag are on the floor of my closet, you're going to be a very sorry young lady. She chain smokes in front of her kids, locks them in a closet when she catches them sneaking a puff, uproots them because she doesn't like their friends, and threatens them with bodily harm when they're caught molesting themselves. I don't even know what to say. Geez, with parents like Betty and Don Draper, you know these kids are gonna be messed up. Top blue collar mom, Roseanne Connor, Roseanne. 
down to earth is an understatement here. Roseanne and the Connors dealt with the same things everyone deals with. Money, obesity, unemployment, life. No. You didn't even know what I was gonna say. Okay, what? That was Chip. No! He wants me to have dinner over his house tomorrow night. No. He lives on Franklin Street in a really nice house. Oh, okay. <laughs> She wouldn't take crap from anybody, but still offered a lot of sage advice when given the opportunity. And she was supportive of her kids when it really mattered. Top Cartoon Mom, Marge Simpson, The Simpsons. Without Marge, the Simpson family would collapse. Homer's an idiot, Bart's a troublemaker, Lisa's an overachiever, and Maggie, well, she can be a handful. While the Simpson house isn't always spick and span, there is always food on the table, a parental lesson to be learned, and a disapproving grumble to be heard. <laughs> Also, it must be tough to raise kids for 20 years without them aging a day. Mom, Bart has something to tell you. Mm, I don't like the look of those air quotes. These are just a few of the most memorable moms from television. Who were your favorite TV matriarchs?